G'day everybody and welcome back to Train Sim World. So I thought we might do a little bit of uh, yard switching. Um, we haven't done any of the freight liner st the freight stuff at the uh, so far, so we've only done a passenger run. Um, so I thought we'd do the uh, X five ninety two short coal move to Rockwood. So we need to load three coal cars and then proceed down to Rockwood. Drop them off as indicated before moving your power to the siding nearby. So this should be a relatively quick one. I don't think it should take too long. A lot of the scenarios in here um, and the services are, are very long winded. So I need to work out how exactly how I'm going to do that. Whether it's going to be uh, the, the really long stuff's going to be done over... Uh, maybe two or three parts or something like that. I'm not sure, but we'll work that out as we go. So um, All right, let's do this one the Load times on some of this I find to be um, uh, pretty long. They take quite a considerable amount of time, but, uh, yeah. All right, so what have we got? Are we ready to go? Yes, we are. We've got the independent brake on. So let's move to forward. We'll just have a quick look at, uh, everything should be on. Now, it has been a while since I've driven one of these uh, let's see gauge lights on ditch lights on headlights to bright engine runs on everything's on everything seems to be ready to go uh, just trying to remember how we get into the map um, in there and we need to move up to here so that's our first objective so everything's all right and ready to go there we'll release the brake two honks of that and we'll bring the throttle up to two just get the uh, beast moving so we're running the SD40-2 for this run got 150 yards before we have to stop I'll try and do a few more outside views as we go. Okay, so we need to fill these three uh, these three cars up. Reduce our speed a little. Now, I can't remember exactly what speed we're supposed to go through here in something like sort of uh, the three mile an hour to be able to fill the cars up properly. Might spin around this way so that we get a better view of this. Okay. And that one's filling up. We'll throttle forward. I am still a bit of an amateur when it comes to driving trains, so I do apologize. I'm probably nowhere near as efficient as anybody else. So as you can see, we're moving through at two miles an hour and that seems to be filling up okay. I think we need to get to 100%. Okay, so we only got to 99% on that first car, but uh, that should be okay. I think we'll get to 100% on the second car, unless they only fill up to 99%. Oh no, that's, uh, that's filled up a little bit more throttle. Fill up the final car. Okay, so that's the, that objective complete. 
Right, now we need to go via location route to Rockwood. Now, I just need to check and make sure that uh, everything's set the way that we need it to be set. And it looks like all of the switches are going to be set for us on this one. So, off we go. We'll throttle up a little bit, get a little bit of speed happening. We're on a 0% grade. We've only got three uh, three cars behind us, so the three cars behind us are, um, are not as heavy as they could be if we had a full load. So I hope this finds everybody well. It's nice to actually be back into train sim for a little bit. Um, uh, I haven't done any train sim since the last time we uh we did we did a little bit uh and i recorded it so i thought it was about time to get it happening i do need to figure out where my wipers are uh let's see there <laughs> they manual wipers serious Alright, there's got to be a uh, an automatic one here somewhere. It is a bit of a cold day here, so we'll put some low heat on. That'll be good. Keep our eye on the speed. We've got 740 yards to go. And while we're doing that, I need to figure out exactly where these wipers are turned on and off. Okay. <laughs> Call the attendant, yes. Call the attendant to make me a cup of coffee, that would be nice. Fuel generator, fuel pump on. Wiper. No. Surely these aren't manual. Surely not. I'm not sure. I'm probably missing something somewhere. Got the cab light. Don't seem to have a wiper switch anywhere we'll give it a little bit more throttle we are going a little bit slow cutoff valve we don't want the cutoff valve I definitely can't see any wiper there okay we need to take it easy through here make sure we don't go over the 15 miles an hour is there a wiper here somewhere? Isolation switch. Fuse cabinet. No, not sure. I'm going to have to look into that and figure out uh, figure out this whole wiper thing because it doesn't make any sense that I'm sitting there doing that manually unless that's what they really do in real life. Uh, but not being a real life train driver, then I wouldn't know, would I? <laughs> there we go, a little bit of manual wiping. Okay, well, see. Okay, we need to... Uh, I wasn't paying attention there, I was too busy messing with throttle, so... We've stopped across the road there, but our next uh, point is to stop at the location route to Rockwood, so... Release those brakes. A little bit of throttle. A little bit of sand because we're in the wet. And off we go. So... As I said, I, I haven't uh, I haven't played Train Sim World since the last time I did a recording. I actually I did play it uh, at one point just to try and learn how to drive this SD40. So um, that was quite a while ago. Uh, I don't think I'm doing too bad a job at the moment, but uh, I mean, it could be better. Could be better, but you know, we learn as we go. So really is an enjoyable game this one it's uh, again it's quite relaxing like a lot of the stuff 
Um, running cargo. Running cargo seems to be uh, quite a good thing to do. Um, again, relatively relaxing. Let's see if I can get some outside views here. We are going down a... Uh, on a downward slope, a 0.5% downward grade, so I do need to keep my eye on the speed. Still trying to work out whether we use dynamic brake to hold our position. I think we do. The modelling, uh, the modelling in this is just incredible in this uh, in this sim. It's fantastic. I mean, have a look at that wet train. Might increase the dynamic brake. I don't want to go over speed on what we're doing. We're 700 odd yards. Okay. Might put that on initial reduction. So the dynamic brake doesn't seem to be working for me. Well, that's not what we want to do. Fiddling around with too many buttons and too many different types of brakes. I am going to have to look into the uh, what the dynamic brake and the uh, automatic brake do. I thought that the dynamic brake, you could actually set the dynamic brake to maintain a speed when you were going down a, um, down a gradient. Almost like in truck sim using a jake brake or an exhaust brake to sort of hold your speed as you go down those slopes but uh, I may be wrong about that that didn't seem to want to work there got myself confused and ended up nearly stopping the train completely so not sure whether we'll lose points for that in this scenario or not okay a little bit more wipe I've got to remember that we're not driving just a uh, loco by itself. We do have all that weight sitting behind us. I know it's only three carriages, but it's three full carriages, so it would tend to want to push us down the hill a little bit, even on the, even on a 0.2% slope like we're on at the moment. So okay, so we've got a red light up here. We need to stop at this point and uh, wait for clearance to go through and wait for that light to go green so we'll set ourselves up for a stop don't want to stop too quickly and I don't want to stop too late as well Okay, that should be good. We should get some good points for that, I think. That wasn't too bad. Okay, clear to proceed. You will clear to proceed. Uncouple vehicles, three vehicles. So... Alright. Let's put that brake on service. We'll throw that into neutral. I am assuming that they want us to uncouple here, if that's correct. Let's have a look at the map really quickly. Yep, it says uncouple uh, vehicles, three vehicles. So I assume we do that right here. So we'll get out. Don't worry, buddy. You just stay there, all right? I'll do all the work. I'll go out in the rain. You just relax, mate. All right, down the stairs. And I assume that they want us to uncouple these. Wait for a moment. It's alright game, you take your time. I will stand out here in the rain. Stop at location Rockwood, Main East, number one. 
which is over there by the looks of it. Ah, uh, it's uh, well, 429 yards away, so back into the seat we go. I hope you're dry, mate. You just relax. You just relax, buddy. I'll get in here. We'll have a look at the map really quickly just to make sure that uh, all of our points are set to how they need to be. And it looks like they are, so that's uh, that makes it quite easy for us. Okay, beautiful. Into forward. Throw that to release. Two of those. And throttle up to two. Get moving, we've got a green light ahead, so we're pretty good to go. Again, uh, you guys know me by now. I do tend to get uh, quite distracted by scenery and stuff, so... <laughs> uh, and uh, then end up missing turn-offs and stuff like that. The chances here are that uh, I will probably do exactly the same thing, to be honest. I'll probably miss stopping points and stuff like that because I'll be too busy looking at the scenery. I think uh, Bob over there... Sitting on his seat and not even bothering to get off and help us. I think he deserves to be cold, so I might open these windows up. Make sure that the heat's just on my side. Okay, so we're still 300 and... So we've got a red light in... Uh, uh, 2.3 miles, so that's miles away. We've got a 40 mile an hour zone in... Um, another 140 yards so surely, surely I'm missing something with those wipers I have to be really I have to be and I can't see anything here for the wipers anywhere so That one's got a handle on it. Oh, they've all got handles on them. So maybe you are supposed to just do it manually. That's a bit silly. Okay, we need to pick up a little bit of speed here because uh, I'm, I'm just too busy farting around rather than getting this job done. Okay. So we're 160, 150 yards from um, getting our job done, I think. I think this is the, the last point in this scenario, which should be pretty cool. So it's a nice short and sharp one, but um, certainly gives everybody a little bit of an idea on uh, doing some some uh, freight stuff and running these diesel engines. Just uh, give it a little bit more throttle. And we will roll into here, hopefully. Without slowing down too much. It's a little bit more power. A little bit more arm power there. We're limping in at 2.4 miles an hour, which should be okay, I think. Okay, throttle to idle. And we'll put our brake into service. Okay, so now it's asking me to uh, stop at location house on tr uh, Rockwood House Track, which is behind us there. So we will uh, we will check our. Okay, so yep, they've they've automatically set that for us as well. We don't need to set that either, which is pretty cool. Okay, that makes it easy for us, doesn't it? Okay. Uh, we'll put that oh, we'll put that in suppression full service we'll move our reverser to there we'll put the rear headlights to bright and we shall release that two blasts of the horn and a little bit of throttle 
Okay, they should be happy with that, surely. And backwards we go. We're just a single loco this time. Now, I don't want to, obviously we're in a uh, 40 mile per hour zone, but I don't want to move too quickly here because we are going over some switches and stuff and uh, we're not very far from a uh, 15 mile an hour zone anyway once we get around this corner so I'll keep my eye on that we're moving uh, downhill we've got a 0.6% slope and we've got uh, manual wipers there as well that but you can't reach them so okay just a little bit of overspeed there by two miles per hour I'll release that and uh, in this situation we don't want to go too far because the track ends just there I'm not sure whether you can see it through the uh, wet windscreen but that would be quite the disaster but uh, definitely something that I would possibly do. Okay, and full service without going too far. Okay, and that is scenario finished. So there you go. Uh, 19 minutes, 22 seconds it took. Uh, we did 2.2 miles, so it wasn't very far. We walked 72 yards, got 3,160 uh, AP for it, and uh, moved up on to level 5 on our uh, CSX Heavy Haul. So that was pretty cool. Uh, just that little bit of overspeed there at the end, but uh, I think we did all right. We didn't do too bad. I did get distracted there a few times and overbraked and, and whatnot, but, uh, you know, you guys know what to expect of me. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, it's, it's a relatively quick episode. What is it? 22, 22 23 minutes. Um, but uh, as I said, some of the scenarios in this are quite long. So I've got to work out whether I do a three-part series on some of those trips or what. Or whether I just cut bits out in between. Because there's probably some bits that are uh, relatively boring to say the least but uh hope you enjoyed this one guys thanks for watching hit the like button and i will see you next time bye